Welcome to Middle Age Moto. I hope everybody is doing well. Uh, out for a brisk ride on a Sunday morning. Enjoying some, uh, some dirt roads and some pavement. And uh, just was thinking yesterday I changed the oil on my bike. And, you know, was thinking for there may be some people out there on the fence that the only reason they're not going with a higher performance bike is because of the infamous service. The, Tons of service that's needed, the short intervals. You know, this bike may not fit some people. You know, to be honest with you, I probably wouldn't take this bike, you know, on a around the world tour or, or something like that. You know, because oil changes are, you know, by the book every 15 hours. And if you're really driving it hard, I would probably do it even sooner than that. If you do riding it like I do, you could probably stretch it to 2025. Uh, there's people out there doing it. Uh, oil's cheap, and to be honest with you, it takes me less than a half an hour to drop the oil and and fill it up and be ready to rock and roll. You know, if I'm gonna go through the whole bike, which I do every other oil change, check bolts, nuts. Check bolts, nuts, all that kind of stuff. Uh, loop this and that then you know 45 minutes maybe so it's still not a big deal but I too was one of those that stayed away from or didn't want to get into one of these bikes why well, I, I tried to get a Sierra 300 L it just uh, the wait time you know I had a deposit on one it was coming in and it just took forever I, I'm not a patient person I wanted a bike a second bike keep the miles off my Ducati uh, so I ended up going twice as expensive, but I went with Husqvarna, but it comes the way I want it. You know, I added a spring to this for my weights. I didn't even do the front suspension yet because I'm not off roads you know, as much as I thought I would be. Now I drive dirt roads and stuff like that. But with that said, I've changed the oil numerous times. After the first oil change, I knew exactly what tools I needed. It was quick, it was easy ready to rock and roll come on dude what the hell are you doing sitting there it was quick it's quick easy i can get it knocked out in no time whatsoever i've checked the valves a couple times first time is like real early on i don't remember the exact specs you're gonna have to look that up but they were well in spec i checked it again after x amount of miles again i don't remember the exact uh number still well within spec and they'll probably do again here soon before I'll check them again that's quick and easy I mean you know I learned the hard way I swapped this thing when I first got it and I've got a video with my uh, back probably last year where I got stranded in the forest to so go check that out but I swapped it so I had to rip it apart clean everything out the tank comes off in a heartbeat and your check-in valves are done. If you have any inkling of ability, mechanical ability, or even the willingness to learn, and you can turn our damn wrench, you can do 99% of the services on this. Uh, now, you know, you get up in age, you know, you've got engine work that you need to be done, but, uh, you know, you can either do it yourself or you can have somebody do it. It could be a little on the, on the more costly side, but the way I look at it, there's guys out there with four or five hundred hours on their bikes that have never touched the top end. Supermoto guys and stuff like that. So, you know, we'll see what happens. But as far as fun, agility, lightness, power, unbelievable. And I've done nothing to this. It's still got, it's all corked up. I've not put, you know, a new ECM and a, you know, a uh, new exhaust on it and, and uncorked this. I haven't really felt the need. I probably will and be shocked and pissed that I didn't do it earlier. But for now, for what I use it for, bike's plenty. I'm not the rider I was back in the day when I was, you know, strictly off-road, uh, you know, motocross style bikes. So my advice to you is calculate out how much you ride a week and how frequently you're physically really going to be and base it on 15 hours because you can always stretch it a little bit if you want to i mean the oil comes out of this pretty clean but calculate it out and determine 
how often you're going to be turning wrenches on the bike. And you're going to be pleasantly surprised that to spend a half hour, once a month, maybe two, you know, it's not too, too bad. It's not too, too bad for the extra performance you get. So thanks for stopping by. That's my two cents. Uh, I hope maybe this helps somebody that may be on the fence, but it is not a big deal. Ugh. Almost dropped this shit. <laughs>